we made a last minute decision to drive down to the path of totality. But since this was a last minute decision, there were no hotels or campsites available, so we had only a 24 hour window to make this trip. We found a small town in Kentucky that offered plenty of places to view the eclipse, and we decided that that would be the place to go. And then we took naps so that we can get up early the next morning and drive. <laughs> To save time and to not get stuck in traffic, we took the drive down through the night. We were the first ones to arrive at the Hopkins County Fairgrounds. Two kids were selling eclipse glasses there, so Dad bought a bunch and we passed them around to each other. The fairgrounds offered a treeless, unobstructed view of the sky from a relatively small field, but it wasn't very scenic. Mar Park, however, had beautiful hills and trees and an excellent view of the sky as well. After a little discussion, we decided to go to Mar Park instead. Instead of flapping their wings to gain altitude, turkey vultures simply spread their wings and let the thermal updraft from the sun keep them afloat. There you are.
Yeah, we're building solar projectors here. Pinhole projectors and the moon's just starting to come over the sun. Check this out, it really works. There it is. You zoom in, though the image is flipped, there's a tiny wedge taken out. It's getting noticeably darker out now, and the moon is past the halfway mark. Shadows are starting to look clearer. The air itself feels different. The wind got calm. I don't hear the cicadas buzzing anymore. The shadows are disappearing, and everything's starting to get dimmer. It was brutally hot a while ago, and now it's rather comfortable. I usually don't see turkey vultures flapping, but now because there's less sunlight, they need to. Oh, they're flying lower, aren't they? Yes, you are. They can't seem to get up as high because they use the thermal, the thermal energy from the sun. He's got something to share with us about the shadows. So, what's going to happen? You saw with the box how the pinhole dispersed and it showed the little image of the sun. Well, as the eclipse gets narrower and narrower, the same thing is going to happen through the trees. You're going to see all these little... Little moons on the ground? Little uh, semicircle, little Will you get Phenomenon, you see the little crescents. Oh my god! Street lamps are coming on.
already leaving. It just left out, the totality, but it's still got an hour to go. totality and there's still a lot of backup The drive home was hot, and since the AC quit working, we left the windows rolled down as often as we could. It was so great meeting so many people from around the country that shared a similar experience that we had. All in all, it was a great day. Considering we had to drive through rain both on the drive down and the drive home, we were very fortunate to have the great weather conditions for viewing the eclipse that we had.